Hey guys, welcome to part 2 for the 2017 level 1 tables and equations grass. We're going to continue back on the where we left off. Okay. So, okay. So, holes are drawn through a uh, 2 minute long horizontal board. The rope passes through the holes to make a seat of a swing. The height of the seat is 1.2 meters above the ground. How far apart would the holes and the board need to be if the shape of the rope is a uh, rope above the seat is the same? Give your answer to 2DP. Okay, so it tells you specifically the height of the seat is 1.2 meters above the ground. And you have your equation, okay, so back here you have your equation for the, um, for the, uh, sorry, you have your equation for the correct, uh, the parabola. So your equation is y equals 2, 1 over 3x, x minus 6 plus 4 okay so all we have to do here we substitute y equals to 1.6 oh no 1.6 you substitute y equals to 1.2 and you solve the quadratic to give you two values for x and where the points uh where the height equal to 1.2 meters so if we solve the quadratic we'll get two points at where the height is 1.2 meters okay so all we have to do here is to substitute y equals to 1.2 okay and then we find what our x values are so 1.2 equals 2 we expand, okay, so one, 1 over 3, x squared, minus 6 times 1 third is 2, plus 4, or the 2x, sorry. Alright, if we move the, move the 1.2 to the other side, it becomes 0 equals 2, 1 over 3, x squared, minus 2x, um, minus 2.8. Okay, so uh, you, uh, this might be a bit tricky to solve by hand, so I recommend using your graphics calculator. So on your graphics calculator, you can press menu, equation, polynomial, okay, you go uh, degree 2, so F1, and then you'll enter in your uh, values. So you enter in A equals 2, 1 over 3, B equals to negative 2, B equals to uh, negative 2, and oh, this is positive, sorry, it's positive 2.8. And your C should be equal to what to a positive two point eight here, and you should be getting your x values at x equals two, uh, three point seven eight or x equals two two point two three. Okay, so you might think you're done right now. Okay, you might feel like oh I'm all done and dusted, but no, you're not. You're not done yet. Okay, you have to answer the question: How far apart would the holes and the board be? If the shape of the rope above the seat stays the same. So how far apart of these two holes? So you have our hole number one and you have hole number two. What is the di what is the distance between them? So aka what is the difference between these two? So basically all you have to do is 3.78 minus 2.23, which gives us distance is 1.55 meters here. And that will and that here, 1.55 meters here will get you an excellence grade. To get a merit grade, okay, you're only solving the equation. So you get x equals to 3.78 uh, or you get x equals to 2.23. That'll get you a merit. Get your achieved grade there. You'll get um, uh, the correct uh, substitutions. So this here will get you an achieved. Alright, moving along. Question 3. Get the equation of the problem from below. Alright, so we're going to use the... You can either use the vertex equation... Uh, or you can use the x-intercept, okay? I'll show you both, okay? So the x-intercept, so you have an x-intercept at negative 2 and an x-intercept at 6. So basically, uh, y equals 2. A is our shape, we don't know what that is, okay? A is a constant, okay? And it becomes x, okay? So it's a negative 2, so it becomes x minus minus 2, and that becomes x plus 2. And we have x minus 6. We substitute any point on the graph to find our uh, a value. So substitute this point here. So when x equals to 2, y equals to negative 16. Sorry. Uh, 2 minus 6. Negative 16 equals to a, 4, negative 4. Negative 16 equals to negative 16a. Therefore, a equals to 1. And therefore, uh, you can just say y equals to x. x plus 2, x minus 6. Okay, or you can use a vertex equation, okay? So vertex equation, your vertex is at 2, negative 16. So therefore, y equals to a, x minus 2 whole squared, okay? Uh, sorry, minus 16. You substitute any point to find the uh, uh, shape, okay? So the shape, well, just any point, okay? So for example, this point here, 4, negative 12. That should give you um negative twelve equals two four a minus sixteen 
um, 4 equals to 4a. So therefore, a equals to 1 again. So therefore, your equation is y equals to uh, x minus 2 squared minus 16 there. So any one of these graphs, okay, so you can have either graph 1 or graph 2, it doesn't really matter. Uh, any of these graphs will get you an achieved grade here. Alright. Give the equation of the above graph and if it's translated two units to the right. Okay, so we have our uh, x intercept equation would be y equals 2, uh, x plus 2, x minus 6. If it's translated two units to the right, that, that means um, we replace x with x minus 2. So y equals 2, x minus 2 plus 2, x minus 2, oh sorry, x minus 2 minus 6. That means y equals 2, x, x minus 8. Or, okay, you have your um, vertex equation, y equals 2, x minus 2 whole square minus 16. If you move it to two units to the right, you replace x with x minus 2. So y equals 2, x minus 2 minus 2 squared plus minus 16. y equals 2, x minus 4 squared minus 16. So any one of these equations, so either this one or this one, either one of them will get you a merit grade. And get an achieved grade, you're looking at... Um, um, can't really get an achieved grade without looking at it. So to get an achieved grade, apparently, so if you get part A wrong, so if part A is wrong, if it's consistent with part A, you'll get an achieved, basically. <laughs> Alright, so John has some strips of plastic that are each 12 centimeters long. He cuts one of these strips into two pieces there and uses them as two shorter sides of a right angle triangle. He starts by cutting the piece 4 centimeters long from a 12 centimeter strip and uses this as the one side of a right angle triangle. He places the remaining 8 centimeters piece at the right angles at the second side as shown below. He then calculates the area of the triangle that will be formed by joining the two endpoints. Use a table equation or the graph to investigate the relationship between the area of the triangle and the different lengths of the piece of plastic that can be cut from the 12 centimeter string. Basically, okay, once again, we uh, I recommend using a table, okay, because if you use a graph, once again, you're going to have to draw out an uh, accurate graph, and that was very time-consuming. In the exam, you have uh, you have to do three papers in three hours, and it will be pretty tough on time, okay? So basically, if I were you, I'd just be drawing ta a table, okay? It's the, probably the easiest thing you have to do. Uh, uh, to be honest, the graph is my last resort, okay? So for this, we're going to say that uh, one side, this is side, side A, and this is area, okay? So if side A equals to 1, okay, that means the other side, okay, so if one side is 1, then the, one, the, the other side will have to be 11. So therefore, the area is 11, it's not 11, sorry, it's 5.5 .5 there. Because for the uh, area of the triangle, we have to divide by 2. So area is 5.5. If one side is 2, then the other side must be 10. So therefore, the area must be 10. Wait. Yeah. If one side is 3, then uh, the other side must be 9. So therefore, 3 times 9 is 27. 27 divided by 2 is 13.5. If one side is 4... Oh, gosh, sorry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alright, so if one side is 4, the other one must be 8. 4 times 8 is 16. No, 4 times 8 is 32, divided by 2 is 16. If one side is 5, okay. If one, five is, one side is 5, then the other side must be 7. So therefore, 7 times 5 is 35, divided by 2 is 17.5. Yep, and if one side is 6, then the other side must be 6 as well. So 6 times 6 is 36, divided by 2 is 18. And if one side is 7, then it just goes back by normal. So if it's 7, 17.5, 8 um, would be 16, 9 would be 13.5, 10 would be 10, 11 would be 5.5. Alright. State the equation that best represents the relationship between the area of the triangle and the length of plastic cut from the 12 centimeter strip. Okay, so the best way, uh, you can either use the x-intercept format or the, uh, or the, um, vertex. I'll show you both, okay? So the vertex equation, okay, so that's y equals 2. x, okay, so we're looking at our vertex. So as you can see, our, uh, our area is the largest at x equals to 6. When x equals to 6, our y equals to 6, 18. So that's our vertex point we're going to be using. So x 
minus 6 whole squared plus 18. Uh, oh, we forgot the A, okay, so we, all we need to do now is to find the shape, okay, and we can find the shape by substituting any two points into the graph, so substitute 4 and 16, okay, and see what we get, so if we get Y equals to A, sorry, Y is, um, 16, so therefore, uh, 16 equals to 4A plus 18, um, So therefore, uh, I'm getting a mind blank. So therefore, um, uh, negative 2 equals to 4a, and therefore a will equal to uh, negative 1 half, okay? So therefore, your final equation will be uh, y equals to one, negative 1 half of x minus 6 whole squared plus 18. I'll also show you the y-intercept of x-intercept for, uh, format, okay? So when uh when side a equals to zero, then the area will be zero. Cause if one side is zero, then there will be no triangle. There will just be zero times twelve divided by two, and that's zero. If one side is twelve, so if this is twelve, then the area is also zero. Because if one side is twelve, then the other must be zero. Twelve times zero divided by two is zero. So therefore, there we there we have our uh x intercepts. So our x intercepts are at zero, and twelve. Okay. And uh, therefore, okay, we can say. That our x intercepts are 0 and 12. So y equals 2 x x minus 12 a. So y, sorry, sorry, that's pretty bad. So sorry, let me rewrite this. So y equals 2 a x x minus 12. Right, now we need to find our a. Okay, we substitute, for example, 4 16 again. We should get that 16 equals 2 a 4 uh, 4 minus 8 there. So 16 equals 2. 4a times of negative 4, 16, um, 4, 16, um, no, not minus 8, minus 12, what am I doing, this is negative 8, so 16 equals to negative 32a, a therefore equals to negative 1 half again, so y equals to negative 1 half, x minus 12, x, x minus 12, so any one of these graphs here will get you the x is grades here, so you can either have you either have the vertex equation that's here, or you can have the x-intercept equation which is here. Both will get you an L, uh, not both. Any one of these will get you an x-intercept grade. Alright, moving along. What features can be noticed about the area of the strip when the genre increases the length of the strip of the plastic of the 12 centimeter strip? Okay, so the first thing in these type of questions is to always mention the vertex, okay? So the vertex we need to mention, okay, so we'll say... Uh, the maximum area occurred at x equals to 6 and area was 18, um, 18 meters squared down, uh, no, centimeters squared. Okay, so, um, okay, so you can also say that, uh, maximum area, area can only occur, okay occur when the strip is halved so uh half of 12 is 6 so the maximum area can also only occur when both sides are equal to 6 all right so um so basically uh, we can say that uh when the length and height are similar when the uh length and height are close to each other Uh, close to each other, high, there's a higher area. But if they are far apart, for example, 12 and, 12 and 0, uh, but when they're far apart, uh, area is less. Alright, so these are the points you can make. So to get an amount grade here is two at these two points, okay, two points for m and one point for an sheet. All right, moving along. Clearly describe how the features of the graph of uh, the relationship would change if the total length of the strip of the plastic was n centimeters longer. Include the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola. Okay, so it says that it's n centimeters longer.
So that means we're starting from 12 and we're adding a certain amount of n centimeters there. Okay? So basically, okay, so if one side is zero, so our x intercepts will be now, okay, it will still be zero. So one of our x intercepts will still be zero. And the other one, okay, will be 12 plus n. Okay, so basically, one is still zero because if a side is zero centimeters, then the area will be zero no matter what. And if one side is 12 plus n, then uh, the other side must be zero. So once again, anything times by zero is zero. So once again, our x intercepts are still 12 plus n and zero. Okay? So basically, I will say that the, um, basically, this is really, it's also just say, um, uh, x intercept uh, now, now is 0 and 12 plus n. Okay, so, um, you can say that the, okay, so, um, graph is now wider. Okay, so if we if we add an n centimeters to the to the length, that means the parabola has a new x intercept. So we have here, if this was originally, if this was twelve originally, we have our parabola here. If we add on, for example, two more centimeters, it'll be fourteen here. So therefore, our parabola will be wider. Okay, it's a really simple concept there. So we'll, graph is now wider by x centimeter. Uh, no, not x, n centimeters. And um. Uh, basically, you can say uh, that the, to calculate the area, to calculate the area, you can say that um, it is uh, will be denoted by um, uh, no, the area is not that important, but the uh, maximum area is more important in this question. Maximum area, so that a maximum area can only occur when the strip is cut in half. So you have our total strip length is twelve plus n, so twelve plus n divided by two. And uh, in order to have the maximum area, we need to do a whole squared, okay? Whole squared, and then uh, we have to divide by 2. We have to divide by 2 because to find the area of a triangle, we have to divide by 2. So basically, it will become um, 12 plus n whole squared divided by, uh, divided by um, 4, 8, divided by 8. That will be our... Um, that will be our um, maximum area. If it's a normal area, for example, any other area, okay, so that will just be, uh, so if it's a normal area, that would be um, 12 plus n, um, 12 plus n minus x divided, um, multiplied by, So if I take times by x, yeah, don't worry about the area. It's not that important. The most important part of this is the maximum area you need, you need to understand. So you say include the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola. So our vertex. So what's our x point? Our x point must occur at half of the strip length. Okay. So as you can see there, in our 12 centimeter example, the maximum area occurred at x equals to 6. Okay, so therefore our maximum area will now occur at um, 12 plus n divided by 2. Because that's the midpoint of the graph, okay? And uh, the next coordinate will just be our y value. Our y value is our maximum area. And our maximum area we already figured out is 12 plus n divided by 8. Uh, 12 plus n squared divided by 8. Okay, so basically that will be your vertex here. Okay, so for this question, okay, you need to find the coordinates of the vertex correctly. Uh, and you need at least one correct comment, okay? So you can have either this, either this uh, to get, so E plus any, uh, sorry, not E, what am I doing? So this statement here plus any one of these three here will get you an excellence grade. To get a merit grade, okay, you have two correct statements. So that's uh, this plus this, uh, these three, you have two to get a merit. To get an, uh, oh, sorry, or you can have uh, correct coordinates found of the vertex. So if you only have the correct vertex here, we'll get you a merit. To get an achieved grade, you have one correct comment. So any one of these, you have one correct comment there. Or your, um, 
x coordinate of the turning point found correctly. So that's the 12 plus n divided by 2 will get you an achieved. Alright. Thank you for watching this video for the SCEA level 1 uh, tables and equations graphs 2017 walkthrough. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.